Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. For a decade, archaeologists have been racing to study deep mysterious trenches slashed through the soil of the Amazon. Rings, squares and hexagons have pointed to long forgotten human settlements in a region previously neglected by researchers. But now, the extent of these settlements is finally being revealed. The discovery of 81 new archaeological sites has just been confirmed, which were once home to up to a million people, in an area that occupied just 7% of the Amazon rainforest. Old estimates of up to 2 million inhabitants across the whole of the Amazon rainforest now need to be thrown out of the window. There was a time when no archaeologist expected to discover such an elaborate settlement in this relatively resource-poor part of the rainforest. But in a recent paper in the journal Nature Communications, Gregorio de Souza of the University of Exeter describes the newly discovered archaeological sites, which are believed to date back to between 1200 and 1500 AD. He and his fellow researchers predict that the region hides hundreds more undiscovered sites, swelling the population estimates. Archaeologists used to believe that pre-Columbian human populations were spread out in pockets around the major floodplains of the rainforest. But the recent deforestation has revealed some truly huge geometric shapes in the ground, found all the way from Bolivia to Brazil. Vast soil glyphs suggest complex societies that manipulated their land with canals, roads, water reserves and causeways, very similar to what we see in the newly discovered Guatemalan Maya settlement that was abandoned around 900 AD. The smallest glyph is just 30 metres across, the largest almost 400 metres, with many harbouring villages inside or nearby. In the present study, researchers used satellite image surveys to search for undiscovered soil glyphs across the upper Tapajos Basin in Brazil. The team discovered 104 earthworks in more than 81 archaeological sites. For the first time, there is hard evidence of pre-Columbian human habitation with ceramics, stone axes, fertilised soil known as dark earth and even old rubbish dumps. Large and small, the sites vary greatly in both size and possible function, from hamlets to fortified settlements, with multiple mounds, plazas and roads. From the earthwork evidence, experts estimate that the 1 million strong population lived throughout the southern rim of the Amazon, a region that spans some 150,000 square miles. Research by others has also shown that entire regions of the rainforest are dominated by types of tree once cultivated for food by indigenous people, and highly planned networks of villages have been identified on either side of the region that D'Souza has studied. The populations were therefore far greater than the 1 million estimate, but the full extent is still unknown. Dolores Piperno, an archaeobotanist at the National Museum of Natural History, said, 50 years ago, prominent scholars thought that little of cultural significance ever happened in a tropical forest. It was supposed to be too highly vegetated and too moist, and the corollary to those views was that people never cut down the forests. They were supposed to have been sort of noble savages. But those views have been overturned, she continued. A lot of importance happened in tropical forests, including agricultural origins. Humans were not just sprinkled in small floodplain settlements as previously believed, but spread out across the region, having a major impact on the land. There is a common misconception that the Amazon is an untouched landscape, home to scattered nomadic communities, but the new discovery proves that this isn't the case. Gregorio de Souza at the University of Exeter said, We have found that some populations away from the major rivers are much larger than previously thought, and these people had an impact on the environment that we can still find today. Though conservationists often speak of this region as having been a pristine landscape, studies by de Souza and others suggest that indigenous people influenced and also enriched the rainforest for hundreds of years. The forest is an artefact of modification, but of course it was nothing like the kind of destruction we see today. The ancient Amazonian people were combining small-scale agriculture with management of useful types of tree, whilst what we're doing today is destroying this ancient habitat. De Souza and his colleagues plan to excavate one of the sites known as Boa Vista, as well as conducting more surveys to find the true scale of this ancient civilization. The latest discovery rewrites the history of this part of the Amazon. Experts believe it may well have been a mosaic of cultures, even though the villages shared practices such as enriching the soil, cultivating Brazil nuts and cocoa trees, encircling their home with protective ditches and so on. 
but I think what we are seeing is the migration of the ancient Maya people southward from Central America. This spectacular find follows the recent discovery of thousands of abandoned Maya structures hidden in the Guatemalan rainforest, and I have to wonder if the two settlements are linked. Did the Maya, who abandoned their enormous ancient civilization around AD 900, flee Guatemala due to drought and head south into South America, and then build new settlements in the Amazon? One settlement clearly succeeds the other, and maybe what we are actually seeing is the resurgence of Maya civilization. Of course we know that although smaller, the Maya civilization continued in Central America up to the arrival of the Spanish invaders, but this doesn't account for the huge volumes of people who deserted the so-called Guatemalan megalopolis. The people had to go somewhere. The Guatemalan Maya settlement was thought to be home to 15 million people, and as the new site that occupies just 7% of the Amazon rainforest was home to 1 million people, could there be many more structures just waiting to be discovered, as D'Souza believes? Is this the legacy of the ancient Mayas? I guess only time will tell. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.